Good morning, everyone, and hope you all are having a happy Monday, a blessed Monday. Today's January the 31st, last day of the first month of the year. So how do you all rate it? I give it a so-so. Because it's been so cold this month. Haven't had a cold month like this in quite a while, I think. Especially when the snow lands and doesn't melt because it's just too cold. Today I'm going to try something different. I have these uh, Buddhist prayer beads which has, the beads are like miniature skulls. Now that might seem kind of morbid, but, uh, and I'm not really familiar how this might fit into things, but uh, I know uh, Buddhists believe in reincarnation. So I don't know how much... Uh, serious stock they put into Actually, I'm going to need it more like this how much serious stock they put into um, actual skulls and skeletons and stuff Are they just temporary vessels? For the soul? Oh, today I thought I'd uh, read... Uh, the card Sherry got me. Sherry, if you're listening, I hope you're doing okay. Kind of worried about you. I haven't heard from you in a while. Try to cut these three times within this space. This is kind of a cramped space. And they won't all fit in there, but uh, let me see. I'll do it this way. So, today, your card is peace or also the two of swords. Now, the Two of Swords represents peace. Chokma in the suit of air. The moon in Libra. In this card are two cross swords united by a blue rose with five petals with amidst white rays producing a geometrical pattern which suggests energy beyond the onslaught of the disruption of the intellect. Energetically, the Two of Swords characterizes the thinking that polarizes the world in order to comprehend it. This concept of reality prevails today as an imperturbable principle. 
desiring to structure all thought patterns accordingly. The person who seeks in this matter makes an effort to measure the world as he recognizes it and reduces everything to the basic formula of yin-yang. In the inner experience, this card shows that we live out the pleasant power of the mind found in the ability of penetrating through the, to the core of things and producing clarity and solutions even in situations that are apparently hopeless. These are well-assessed and balanced solutions and can therefore lead to peaceful reconciliation in controversial questions and to harmony after phases of fragmentation. On the professional level, the polarization of thought brings progress thanks to clear, balanced strategies. The card can represent the clarification of previous controversial and contradictory positions, the settlement of a conflict, or the well-considered and calculated planning of a new project. It shows that we may reckon with fair evaluation and or that we are called upon to treat and judge others in the same manner. In our personal relationships, the two means that previous differences and controversial standpoints can be united and in the middle point between the two extremes is sought. It represents a well-considered model of a relationship in a manner of a mobile which is a good chance of lasting even through intense storms. And analogizing it, it's Hermes as symbolic of wholeness and the paradoxity of the self. The image is a natural uniting of opposites, including light and dark, feminine and masculine, the spiritual and the physical within itself. Keywords are balance, justice, and impartiality. All right, there. Okay. Um, now let me leave you with a couple of quotations. And uh, I don't know who uh, said these. So um, bear with me, but uh, you owe it to yourself to become everything you were meant to be. Amen to that. Staying positive doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time. It means that even on hard days, you know that there are better ones coming. All right. Very good words to live by. It's all right. I want to thank you all for joining me again today. Hope to see you back again tomorrow for tomorrow's reading. In the meantime, hope you have a blessed Monday. Peace. Believe. Take care. And bye-bye.